Hi everyone, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. Welcome back to my channel. We're continuing with our journey with the remarkable regional malts. Said it the first time. Uh, this is episode 3 with uh, Speyside with Scallywag. There you go, that's the Scallywag with the doggo. Let's see what Scallywag says. Just to remind you, the regional malts is six, uh, includes the islands, which is, you know, you discuss if islands are region or not, but these are all blended malts. Uh, aiming to showcase the best of the region. Scallywag, inspired by a long line of Douglas Lane family fox terriers, our Scallywag is a beautifully sherried and richly spiced taste of Speyside, including single malts distilled at Macallan, Mortlock and Glenrothes. All right, okay, no eight stated, but this one at least we know where the malts are coming from. Uh, Non-chill filtered, no color added, as with all of them, and this one is bottled at 46% ABV. Yes, sir. Okay, does this say anything else? No. Now, uh, I've said it before, but I am not a fan of Macallan. Uh, not at those prices and not what they're putting out right now. They're doing subpar whiskies, in my opinion, and pricing them ridiculously. I bet there are incredible Macallans, and I will, I'm sure it was really good back in the day. But right now, for the good Macallans, you need to pay a liver or an arm or both of them at the same time. I don't think anything is worth that much. And uh, whatever I tasted from Macallan, uh, I've been massively underwhelmed. Now that the rent is gone, I also don't like Glenrothes that much. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not going well. What was the other one? Mortluck. I do like Mortluck. I do like Mortluck. Has a meaty character, a little bit of a vaccine and meaty character. Now let's dive into this one, shall we? Okay, so it is sweet, but citric sweet. Lemon candy, orange candy, strawberry candy, anything that's candy and sweet and, and, and uh, zesty, it's here. Cinnamon, nutmeg, a lot of baking spices, brown sugar, Caramelized sugar, toffee, caramel, raisins, yes, sultanas, raisins, those dark ones, and a little bit of molasses. Okay, let's go into the palette. Okay, yeah, very dry, very nutty, chocolatey, milk chocolate, chocolate with nuts and raisins. Um, sweet, molasses, candied apple, um, beeswax, tiny bit, could be power of suggestion with more luck, but it is what it is, um, and, oh, very juicy, very honey, it goes, the finish goes into being a spoonful of honey, some molasses, some raisins, and chocolate. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice. I had the winter edition. Uh, it was really good as well. Uh, one of the best I had, best blended malts I had. This is actually blended really well. I do enjoy this one. It's an easy sipper. No alcohol bite whatsoever. The previous ones, the Timorous BC and Epicurean, felt a bit young, uh, but this one uh, doesn't. This feels a bit more well rounded compared to the other blended malts I had. Like I said, more often than not, I find them a bit all over the place and a bit disconnected. This one works. Mm hmm. Mmm, yeah, dry, nutty, spicy, baking spices, raisins, chocolate, then walnuts, roasted nuts, roasted nuts covered in chocolate, in honey, all sorts of um, sweet and nutty flavors. There's a lot of sherry influence in that, I can tell you that. Now, and also bourbon because of the uh, maple and the caramel. Now my pick, um, I could pick something, I don't know. Anything from uh, Glenallachie, anything 
sweet to match this, but I kind of went on left field. Well, I, I could have picked a Mortlock because it's there, but I don't have a Mortlock right now. I tried the 2021 special releases, the 13 year old one. That was really good. Uh, this year's I'm not, it's non eight stated and it's ridiculously priced. So, so I went with this one, the Glam 15 distillers edition or sorry, distillery edition. It's non-chill filtered and bottled at 51% ABV. Uh, I think it's gonna showcase uh, what Glenfiddich can do if it's unhindered by, you know, those uh, low ABVs and chill filtration. I love Glenfiddich. Um, I love the Glenfiddich house style and uh, anything I, well, most of the things I tried from Glenfiddich has left a good impression on me and this one is no different. That has a special place because of its high ABV and non-chill filtration. You can actually see what a big distillery like Glenfiddich can actually achieve. On the nose, very bright, hints of smoke, dry, but a lot of uh, that classic Glenfiddich note of apples, bitters, uh, then hint of sweetness there. It's vibrant, it's welcoming. Yeah, it's, um, you get all those fresh apples and pears and uh, sweetness there, but the 51% AU just takes it all and adds a little bit of a uh, vibrancy into the, into the nose. Now on the palate, on the palate where the show is at, it's spicy. It's peppery, but it's sweet. It's, I think it's exactly, you know those uh, chocolates that has uh, red chili peppers. So chili pepper dark chocolate is what this is. And the finishes, the spice carries, but also turns into more sweet undertone and uh, finishes all sweet. So I am eating a chili pepper dark, you know, bitter chocolate. And it's wonderful. And what it leaves me with is an apple note, a candied apple note with a hint of spice and it goes on, goes on. It's um, not going to say even medium, it's long and the mouthfeel is really nice. I wonder if I drink the, well I have the old 15, the new 15 is the, um, is 40% ABV. I have the old 15 here, which is the Solera version, but that's, uh, that's a difference. One. I don't think this is a uh, Solera, so I don't think it's a fair comparison. This probably is more close to Scallywag, but we're not going to do that now. Oh, this Glamfiddy 15 is brilliant. See, that's the thing. Uh, have a blended mold and have a single mold. You put the noses together. After you have the single mold, after you nose the single mold, you go to the blended mold and it just feels a bit lacking. It just feels a bit uh, soulless. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a snob or anything. I've always, uh, I like my blended scotches. I'm not saying blended molds. I like my blended scotches. I know what to expect them, uh, expect from them. The blended molds, uh, the idea is really cool. The, the, the thought behind it is amazing. Let's get fantastic single molds, marry them together, you're gonna get something even better. But more often than not, it falls short of expectations. There are some incredible ones. I've reviewed the Compass Box Orchard House. I'll put the link up there. That's amazing. But, you know, most of the time it's not doing well. But this one, with smoke and fruits and nuts and chocolate and spices. It's just, it's not an easy sipper. It's not one of those like, oh, I'll have a couple of this in an afternoon, nice sunny day. No, it's a bit more like I'll put it, I'll have a nice, I'll read a nice book, listen to some good music, and it'll take me some time to finish this. I'll savor this slowly, slowly, because it's one of those. You can add a little bit of water, you can open it up a bit, I myself am not a massive fan of uh, adding water. I, I always lose at something, whether the nose, the palate, or the finish. There's something always goes um, bad when I add water. But this one, easy sipper, nice and relaxed. Over a long 
time. I wouldn't sip it quickly because it, it's it's one to be savored. Whereas this one, the Scallywag breakfast whiskey. Take it, drink it, you'll be happy. Now, my recommendations for the whole box, I said buy it, uh, try these things, it's good. For the Scallywag, would I buy a uh, full bottle at uh, 35 pounds? Yes, I would. It's um, it's a nice easy sipper. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's not a brainer. Would, what's my, my recommendation be for the Glenfiddich 15? The Stevie edition? Yes, I'm gonna recommend this. Three Glencairns. You know, it's one liter. It's 51% uh, ABV. You get it at airports. And uh, it's one of those times where uh, duty-free offerings are actually really, really, really good. So I'm going to recommend both of these bottles, three Glen Cairns, which means buy it. Guys, that's it from me. This was episode three. We have three more to go. Next week is Goldrins, the Campbelltown, the elusive region. So we'll talk about that next week or the week after next episode. Yeah. Uh, if you like this series, please, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like this series, let me know. Let me know what your favorite uh, distillery from the Speyside region is. And have you tried the Scallywag? Which version? And uh, do you like it or not? And have you tried this one? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers, guys.